What's up guys and welcome to Old RPG Gaming and today I'm going to play a little bit of a, a game that I used to love as a kid. I had all the cards. I had all the cards still when I was like 19 and I sold them all in um, a fold. I had everything. But this was the very first um, Yu-Gi-Oh game that I played on anything. I mean I had loads of games for the DS, for the Game Boy Color. Um, the Game Boy Advance I had like four different games for it even had games on the PS2, the 360, and of course all the cards themselves. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a huge part of my growing up, I loved it. So I'm gonna play a little bit of it for you today. It's not like gonna be, I might do a playthrough of it, but we've got a lot on our plate at the moment. We got two WWE games, uh, Game Dev Tycoon, and we've got an ongoing Digimon Adventure. So I don't wanna kinda do too much, but I thought I'd put up the first bit of this and see what you guys think of it. Um, let me know in the comments section at the end of this video and let me know if you enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, they seem to kind of all be part of like what we had when we was growing up like Yu-Gi-Oh! Digimon uh, we can't monetize the videos and show the gameplay but Pokemon was another huge one for me and WWE as well this is all kind of stuff that I had as a kid so uh, let's get on with Yu-Gi-Oh! and I hope you enjoy it guys Let's let's do this. So I remember for this game, input your name. Um, you had like all these shit cards, but you could like fuse them together. Now, what they come out as is completely and utterly shit. And uh, even even then, you can still lose if you got the highest attack because it's all uh, done by like fire beats. Earth and shit like that, water beats fire, gives them an increase. This guy is like the main bad guy. The Forbidden Treasures. So we're basically looking for all the Millennium items. Um, I'm just going to race through this, guys. Oh, it's not going to let me, okay. But basically this has got like all the, um, all the characters from the Pegasus Island in the first series. It's all of those, but in ancient times. So you'll see like Kaiba, um, Weevil, Rex Raptor. This guy is kind of just like our friend. <laughs> we're like a prince or something. I think we're Yugi, or Yugi, um, if you like. Back then, we run away from him. So we're at the Pharaoh. Oh, okay, right, we're here. Joey, Taya, they're all here as well. Tristan, I think, as well, is here. So where do we go first? The dual ground? Can we go and, go and get a dual ground? There's Taya, okay. Jonah is, um, Joey. Yeah, let's give her a duel. I can't remember any of the buttons or anything for this, so it'd be very interesting how we get on here, guys. Uh, let's just go with... Yeah, that's fine, whatever's in there. <laughs> we can't change anything because we've got no other cards anyway. So yeah, the rules are slightly... Well, not slightly, but they're completely different to how Yu-Gi-Oh! is nowadays. Uh, but basically, you can fuse uh, your cards by clicking up on them and then playing them into play. But I'm not too sure what's going to mix with what, so I'm going to try these two. Should I try these two? Uh, flame and like a warrior card, so we're trying to get like a a flaming warrior card. Oh, it fused, and we got, there we go, we got a fire warrior. You also have this as well, which is the star sign. Um, this is exactly the kind of thing I was all about, like Mars may beat Jupiter, Uranus may beat Saturn, I don't fucking no guys I don't know but uh, we can put it in attack and defense I know we can do that let's leave it in attack see what Taya does she's gone into defense so I'm pretty sure then that we've got the better card on the field at the moment um, let's go zombie card warrior card see we can't make that zombie warrior is it gonna work yeah there we go zombie warrior uh, we go for the moon 
Zombie Warrior's got the highest attack. Let's go for the Fire Knight. See if that was the card she defended against. Now, Guardian Star is highlighted, so I don't know if that means we're going to beat it or not. Um, let's take a look what that means. Well, we did beat it and nothing changed, so I guess that's fine. Direct attack on the life points. There we go, we are, we are winning, guys. I remember writing all these down, like which cards made what as a kid, and then like my friend had, um, back in the day, he used to get like the, the demo magazines, and they come with action replay discs every now and then, with like saves of like the new games out, and one of them was a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and um, he had got uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! save, but he had like all Meteor, Black Dragon, and stuff like that. See, that time in Infuse, we just end up with a shitty old lamp, but... Yeah, so I had like all my written down fusions and could make about like the Flaming Cerebus. I could make cards like that and um, the Sandwich, but they, you know, they're still like 2100 attack. He was just straight up playing like Meteor Black Dragon and Mega Morph on this game is insane as well. And I just fucking have no chance. Uh, we got another zombie card, so... Can we play that zombie card? Face up. On the spellcaster, will that do anything? Should we try this? Oh, they mixed. Magical ghost, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go for Pluto. So, we definitely won this by the look of it. Karibo, I remember Karibo. That was like... Pikachu to Ash was like Karibo to Yugi. Well, actually, I suppose the Dark Magician was Yuki's favourite, but... Hopefully we'll win this in the next turn, then. I don't really know how long I'm going to do these episodes for. I don't really know if I'm going to turn it into a series. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I mean, I enjoy playing this game. Uh, I haven't played for a very long time, as you can probably tell. But I just thought it'd be interesting. Just to share it with you guys and see what you think. If you guys know any uh, awesome fusions looking at the cards that we've been using, then let a brother know. There we go, we've definitely beat her this time. Magical Ghost. The Zombie Warrior, and then we're going to overkill here. Our Fire Knight's going to do the damage. There we go. We win, yay! Now. I think the way this works is you get, uh, so there you go, S rank, and we got a Zone Eater. I know straight away that is a card with 200 defense, 250 attack. That is absolutely shit. <laughs> but we did get five Star Chips. Um, I think the way it works is Star Chips um, basically determine them what cards you can use in your deck. Like, each, the stronger cards cost more Star Chips. I think that's how it works. So she's going to play us again when she gets a little better. Who else is here? Is there anybody else here? This old guy. Do you want to fight old guy? Do you want a duel? Uh, yeah, we'll give him a duel. Why not? Same cards again, I guess. We, Like I said, we only have that zone eater that we won last time. Maybe this guy will be a little bit more of a challenge. I hope so, anyway. Oh, so we got some magic cards this time. Uh, Dark Hole, I know what that does. Beast Fangs, I guess you have to put with a beast, but we don't actually have anyone as a beast, so... I'm just gonna put a Mechanical Spider face down, put it in defense mode, and then see what this guy does. I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I, I used to love this, like, especially when like my teenage years. Love this game. Right, now we can go... Let's see if the Beast Fangs will equip to this guy. Uh, we'll do it this way, just in case. Put him there. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. Well, that didn't work. We can switch him into attack, wipe out this little uh, Steel Scorpion. And then we can deal a little bit of damage. So overall, we've taken him down 1,000. That's a good start. We need to try and fuse some cards, just in case he's got anything strong, but... It's still a good start. It's gone into defense, so that probably means we got the strongest card still. Uh, what do we got here? We got a zombie, and 
we could just play it straight up like this. I think that's quite a powerful card to start with. I don't remember starting with anything that powerful before. Uh, Zombie and Machine, I don't think it does anything. Neither does Winged Beast. What else can we mix with Zombie? Beetle and Water. Uh, machine. I don't, I don't. Let's try this. Let's try our little insect dude and Jinzo 7. And in case that fucks up, we'll put the zombie guy on the end and then draw fresh cards. Yeah, they didn't fuse, so we fucked that one off and put the stronger one down. Our weakest one can attack then. Get rid of that nasty ancient jar. And then 1800 with the two cards. Takes him down to 520, I make that. Yeah, awesome. So we're nearly halfway. We're kicking his ass. It's going to be a second win. Okay, what do we got next? So we got a Thunder card, a Warrior card, a Reptile. I wonder if we could put the Reptile with the Thunder and get the Thunder Lizard. That would make sense. Uh, let, let's try that. Is it going to work? Oh, we got Electric Lizard. Okay, well, that wasn't what I was hoping for, but... Does any, if anybody knows like the, the Thunder Dragon card, I think that's um, what I was aiming for. Well, I know that's what I was aiming for, but it wasn't what we got. <laughs> Instead, we basically just got a blue version of the card that we put down, that we fused. But, never mind, we're still winning. We're still going to win this by a, a long shot by the look of it. 25.50 to go. We haven't lost a life point yet. Hopefully it stays that way. See, now that's the thing I was on about. It got a raise in its attack there. Um, because the star sign it had was uh, higher than or stronger than our one. I don't know how it works, but it does. Let's try and mix these two to see if anything nice comes from that. Oh, actually. If we, if we just put the beast... Actually, no, let's put the warrior on top of the Dark Asylum. So, see if we can actually... Yeah, come on. Armored Zombie, okay, that's good enough. I thought it was going to be the Zombie Warrior, but... 1500 attack, that's awesome. So, if you highlight this and the Guardian Star comes up yellow, I think that means it's stronger, I think. Let's try and hopefully we don't lose there. Obviously, if it comes up red, then it means it's bad. But... Have we won? Have we? Oh, he's got, he's got 100 left, you jammy motherfucker. Probably because of my miscalculations. If we had just played the other card without putting it on top, we would have uh, wiped him out there, but never mind. Yeah, what else we got here? This is quite a good, strong starting deck. I don't remember having this, this much fortune with it last time. Uh, we'll go for this, see if they fuse. Beast of Moria makes Nekogal. That's our strongest card so far. Right there, Neko Gal number two. Uh, we can't see the Guardian Stars because... Oh, there we go, yellow. So let's see, I think that boosts. Yeah. So yellow is good, red would be bad. Let's go for a huge overkill then. And there we go, we win again. We did lose life points this time, but not many guys. I wonder what rank we'll get. Do we get number five or... A B? We got a Bone Mouse, it's not great. I don't think it's anything you get right at this point in the game is too great, but... If you want, you'll have to beat me. But if you lose, you have to give me one of yours. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. So, do I have to put like an anti-card up, I guess? Is there a way to sort these cards or something? No, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. I know in some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games you have to put like an anti-card up. Right, what do we got here? We got a warrior and flame. We got a fiend, a plant, and a zombie. Well, plant and zombie works well, I'm pretty sure. So we go for that first. Wood remains. Not Again, what I was aiming for, but it will do. <laughs> a thousand attack will do. Hopefully, he's not got something he can play straight down that can beat it. Oh, my motherfucker, he has. He's got dragons on. 
Oh, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a tougher battle then, because we didn't have anything like that previously. Um, what should we do here then? We can go... Fire and Warrior will make something good. It will make a Pyro, which we can then go with Thunder. I don't know. Um, machine and Fire, does that make anything? Machine and Thunder? Let's try that. With that one on top. This is a big gamble. I could be fucking just throw that the way. All our good cards, but we're trying. Cyber Soldier. Oh, motherfucker! That could have uh, been awesome as well. Well, this is one of those where you learn from your mistakes. He's now fusing. He's got the stronger shit. 2100 defense, if that. Oh, he's put it in defense as well, motherfucker. This is not, not a good start, guys. Not a good start, but uh, let's try and recover it. So, Spellcaster, Water, Fiend... Oh, I just really don't know. Um, let's go for this one and this one. And then... This one. Yeah, let's try, let's try this. We need to try something, otherwise we're not going to beat this guy. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Oh, I suck ass at this game. What have you got for us next? Oh no, we're going to take a huge hit. We're actually going to lose. I think if you lose, don't you get game over if you lose on this game? And you don't save it as well, I think. Um, right, we've got Insect, Thunder, Fiend, and Rock. Let's go for... See if that makes anything and then mix it with that. Fuck it. Why not? I seriously don't see why we shouldn't try that. Oh, motherfucker! Every time we make a good card, I knock it away. Uh, we do have a boost on that, but not enough to defeat it, so we'll leave that like that. I think this is going to be a last round anyway. I don't think we're going to survive this, guys. It's just got two stronger cards for us. Um, and yeah, if he beats us, I'm pretty sure it's game over. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. What else have we got? We got a warrior, a spellcaster, a reptile, and a fiend. Um, let's go with fiend, warrior, spellcaster. No, that's pretty much it then, guys. I'll fucking take the defeat on this one, and hopefully we don't um, we don't get game over because then we pretty much got to start again, and it's the waste of the episode. Let's see what happens when he takes our life points down to zero. Here it comes. Take the hit. Come on, what's the outcome? We lose. I know we lose. But what, what happens now? Are you going to tell me game over? Oh no, it's okay, okay. No. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, it's game over. Well, that pretty much that's that sucks. That is absolute shit. But that was a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh forbidden memories, guys. Uh, I would like to do a playthrough of that game, maybe later when we've got a little bit more time, um, and we've not got so much on our plate. Uh, we're doing, I think we're halfway through the GM mode of SmackDown vs. 2006. We still got quite a way to go in WWE My Career mode, and we've. Pretty much, we're not we're not even halfway yet on Digimon Adventure, and that's 20 episodes in, so it's gonna be a long one. So it's on the background of this one, guys. Uh, if you do want to see it, let me know in the comment section, and we'll see what we can do. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more cool gaming videos, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Also guys, if you want to get your own channel art or logo personally done for you, get in touch with the graphics designer that done my channel art, the uh, Skype address is on the screen.